Welcome to Visual Math with Ian and Vero. Today we're going to do visual math. Okay. Line plot. What is it? It is a simple way of seeing or visualizing information or data in a table. Is it difficult to make? No, it's one of the easiest plot to make. What can it do for you? Helps you answer questions and it can also help you when there's a lot of data. Creating a line plot. Okay, we need some data. All right, can you put a line? Make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it fatter. Now, let's put some dashes on the line. Oh, we need another one. And another one. Oh, well, a few more. Now, let's hide the data that we don't need. So, for example, we don't really care about the kid's name right now. So, let's hide that. So just looking at their ages, let's look for the smallest number. Do you see the smallest number? The smallest number is three. Okay. So let's put that on our line pad. And let's put some Five, number. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So now we have all the ages represented on our line. We started with the lowest number, the lowest age we had, which was three. And we went up to the highest age we had and that was nine okay so now if we, what we will do is start entering in the data from the first line we move seven onto our line plot but we don't need to keep seven so we represent it with a dot so dot and now let's move the next entry going down the list so that's five so let's move it onto our line and we again we want that to be a dot so let's do the next one, three. We want that to be a dot. And there we go. And we can do the rest. And now we have all the data we need on our line plot. So this is a line plot. You have successfully entered all the data from your table which was the kid's name and their age onto the line plot. So like I said, the line plot allow you to do or answer questions, right? So what are some of the questions we can answer? Let's start with a simple question. So before we do, let's move our line plot up a little bit and let's also label our access. So we, we remember that that's our age that we're talking about. Age. Let's talk about the questions. So, our first question is... How many kids were there? Well, to answer that question, all you have to do is... Count the dots. So, can you count the dots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, perfect. And that's our answer. Because each dot represented a kid. Uh, we saw that we just simply took their age and put it on the line and then remove it by turn, turning those numbers into a dot. And so we can confirm this with our data. If we look at our data, we'll see that we have eight kids and we counted eight dots. So let's answer another question. How many kids are five years old? Well, for that, to answer that question, we... Count the dots for age five. Two. So we can look at age five, and those are the two dots. Another way of thinking about this is the ages that we don't care about, we can simply hide them. And so we don't care about three and dots for age three and four, or the dots for age six, or the dots for age seven, or there's no dots for eight, but no dots for nine. And so we can sort of hide them. Here we're just making them a little dull to see. Another way is we can put a box around what we're interested in. So here we've put a box around age five because we only want to see um, the kids who that are, are age five years, years old. old. Yep. And so there is our answer too. And we can confirm this by looking at our data again. And there are the two five-year-olds. So we know that what we see on our line plot is the exact same thing as what our data is telling us in the table. So we don't really need to keep the table around anymore. So from now on, we will do without the table because everything we need to know is on this line plot. 
Well, we should know that oh, it doesn't tell us the kid's name, but we don't care about their name because we want to simplify the information. Another question could be, how many kids are six years or older? Very good. And to answer that, we simply count the dots for ages six, age seven, age eight, and age nine. All right. And so we don't care about age three, so we dim that. We don't care about age four, that is dim too. We don't care the ages for five, so that is dim. And so if we put a box around the ages we care about, which is age six, seven, eight, and nine, now we could count those dots. One, two, three, four. And we so, have four dots. And we were able to answer this with the line plot. So here's another question. Let's try this. How many kids are between ages four and seven years old? All right, so to answer that question, count the dots for age four, age five, age six, and age seven. So we can put a box around the ages we care about, which would be the ages four or to seven. Five, six, seven. and seven. And so we don't care about age three, and or we don't care about, about age nine. Oh, very good, we don't care about nine. So let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. All there are right. six stop. So now we are ready to close. So do you understand now how to do a line plot? Yes. Uh, do you think it was easy? It was easy. Do you think you're ready to do line plot in school now? Yes. Do you remember how to take the table and turn it to a line plot by looking at the smallest age? Yes. But a line plot doesn't have to be about age. We did age. It could be about anything, right? Yeah. Okay. So until next time, bye. Bye. All right. All right. See you guys later.